Julie, amazing. look at this place. Imagine the time it must have taken to build this. Oh my gosh. There it is, the podium of Emperor Chen. What is this? These must be the seven keys. Look, over there. Is that text on the wall? Seven stones. Seven possible choices. Okay, well, seven stones. Just choose one. But getting it wrong could kill us. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's take our time then. You got it. This has to lead to the heart. I can feel it. I know it. Where's Peter? Oh, he's probably sleeping. Peter! I'm here. We need water. Sure thing, Dr. Chang. Come right up. Sorry, there's nothing we can do about that right now. Wait a minute. All right. We're here. It's here, I know it. The heart. Heart of the warrior. Heart of the... Heart of the dragon. That's it. The heart. I don't think that worked. It didn't. Come on, I thought I knew it. Jules, dragon. now what? The dragon. The dragon, heart of the dragon, heart of the warrior. <gasps> oh my god, Jules, we have to go! One more minute.
careful, Allie. Not too fast. Not too fast. Okay, grab it. I told you this area was off limits. Well, you know us women. We never listen. This attitude of yours is gonna cost you this chest and your life. I don't think so. Hand it to me. This chest belongs to Chief Al Hussein and I was hired to get it. And what do you get? I'm the first archaeologist from the West to have access to these caves, and it's amazing architecture and drawings. I'll send you pictures. You stupid girl. You're being taken advantage of, my dear. Now hand it over to me, now. <laughs> oh, man, I really didn't want to have to do this. A free ball! That's mine. And for being as old as it is, this relic's condition is truly a phenomenon. And even more fascinating is the region it was uncovered in. As you can see here, and that's actually all the time that we have today. Thank you, everyone. See you next week. Allie! Ready for lunch? I mean, of course you don't realize this system is rigged. It's rigged in your favor. You two are PhD candidates while I'm still struggling for my master's. Okay, I'll give you that. Great, now that that's settled, how about a nice, quiet lunch? Wait, 
I won? What? No, Benny, I would quit while you're ahead. No, you didn't win. You changed the subject. Yeah, I changed what subject? You're the exception to the rule. The rule still stands. Rules? What rules? <laughs> Women have to work twice as hard as men to get any kind of recognition. And that's why we were so adamant about getting our PhDs. True. Nobody can argue with doctor. As much as I love both of you as colleagues and friends, I would love it more if we could table this conversation. Professor Kami? But... Yep, that's me. Mind if I take a moment of your time? Sure. Do you do you mind if we take a moment? Sure. Sorry. Uh, take a seat. So what can I do for you? I'm a writer for the paper, and I wanted to ask you, as a field archaeologist, with your professional opinion, how you justify stealing and appropriating artifacts from other cultures. Oh, um, what's your name? Isabel Villeneuve. That's a good question, Isabel. Uh, there are a few crucial distinctions that we need to make between theft and discovery in this field. I think that the real thing we need to consider is that none of us own these artifacts. I personally believe that a country of origin should have them on display for the public and share, and that nobody has the right to conceal or keep an archaeological find. Where are you going? What is this? Open it. You'll find out. Alabama. I'm keeping the daily log of our expedition just for you. We've arrived in China and will be heading for the dig site in the morning. I miss you so much. This is Tim Parker. I'm a huge fan of your mother's work. How did you find my mother's journal? <laughs> you see, I know your mother's work quite well. And I've been following you for a long time. Why have you been following me and you didn't answer my initial question? Miss Channing, Allie, if I may call you that, I'd be happy to answer any and all of your questions. But I must insist that this conversation happen in person. Um, what does that even mean? As I'm sure you're aware, Lingtang is home to the famous tomb of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. Yes, well, if you're as big a fan of my mother's as you say you are, you know that I am aware. Great. Let's meet there. In Lintang? Yes. I've arranged for a private jet to get you there by morning. Wow, you mean... you mean, like, now? I do. And your plane leaves in three hours. The choice is yours, Ali. Could I bring a couple people? Driver, let's go to the airport. believe that we're here already. Private jets must be much faster than commercial airlines. This is so awesome. I've never been on a private jet before. Yeah, you mentioned that like 20 times on the way here. China is incredible. Did you see how long the wall was? It looked like it never ended. Yep, I think I ride up here. Did you know that China is home to roughly 302 unique soils? Oh my god, Benny, are you gonna do this the whole time? Hainan leaves the country on real soils, but Zhejiang isn't far behind. 
Yep, that's Benny. People here walk so much closer together, but they never bump into each other. Did you notice that? It's like a totally different level of spatial awareness. And the food on the jet was incredible. Seafood would have been my absolute last choice, but we really pulled it off. Guys, I'm so excited. Tell me if I'm talking too much, okay? I might. All right, the driver said that Mr. Parker was meeting us at his campgrounds. Just keep a lookout. Alabama Channing. Welcome to China. You've got to be kidding me. Nathan Carter. I know exactly who you are. Sorry, I don't believe we've had You're the... You're that uh, freelance the... creep who sold the Maharaja Scepter last year in Delhi. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Mm. Yeah, scumbags like you are the reason that I keep almost getting arrested. All right, now hold on a second. I'm here to talk to you about Mr. Parker's proposition. Thanks, but with you involved, I'm not interested. All right, listen, Alabama, I've got better things to do than follow you around all day. But Mr. Parker was pretty adamant about speaking with you. Yeah, well, he chose the wrong messenger. Don't you want to know how we found your mother's journal? What does my mother's notebook have to do with any of this? Right. Look, I'm obviously the wrong person to tell you. Why don't you just come hear what he has to say? Yeah. I mean, we're here. And you might find out something about your mom you didn't know. And then there could be snacks. Fine. Good enough for me. There better be chocolate. Just a heads up. Mr. Parker doesn't travel light. What does that mean? Can we put this up for Coachella? Please, sit down. Welcome, you guys. It is my sincere honor to have you all here. And you are? Geologist Benny Blum at your service, Mr. Parker. Please, call me Tim. We're all friends here. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. I'm very excited about the expedition. What expedition? I, I just assumed that... I'm joking. Have a seat. <laughs> so, you're a uh, geographer? I'm a geologist. Really? So, what can you tell me about this stone? It's fake. Fake? What do you mean fake? Well, I mean, it's quartz, but it's painted. I believe it's called Australian Jade. It's common. I'm sorry, did you not no, know? No, I knew. Of course I knew. I was just testing to see how quickly you could spot a fake. And you passed. <laughs> Tim, you just flew us halfway across the country to come here. To whatever this is. Care to tell us what this is all about? What is she doing here? Good to see you again, Professor. Isabel, unless of you to join us. No, but really, why is she here? All questions will be answered in due time. But I'm not going to play this game with you. You know what? Why don't we all sit down for lunch? I insist. You're not eating? Everything the body needs. Mmm, you're a nutritionist, too. Mm. How'd you get wrapped up in all this? Mr. Parker's a frequent employer of mine. Likes to send me out everywhere. He also pays quite well. What's your excuse? To preserve the past so we can learn from it? The past is a commodity. You sell it to the highest bidder and they do with it whatever they want. Sounds a little opportunistic, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. And pragmatic. I don't believe in living in the past. Oh, well, if you improve your social skills, you'll have something to look forward to in the future. Future's now. Mm -hmm. Isabel, what's your deal? <clears throat> this expedition has the potential to be an expedition beyond compare. It needs to be chronicled. And that's what Isabel's doing here. She's our official documentarian. 
This pretty much guarantees me a position at the Washington Post. Oh. She's a page for them. Freelance reporter, actually. For now, at least. So, why should we trust you? I assure you that our methodology and philosophy concerning antiques is quite similar. Look, it's important that I remain anonymous. I don't want the world to know that an American billionaire is trapping through the Chinese wilderness looking for a lost artifact until Isabel here tells it on my terms. What lost artifact? Well, I'm continuing the work of your mother and fighting the heart of the dragon. It only seemed right that we reunite you two, even if only in spirit, by returning the notebook to you, Professor Channing. With this notebook, we really have a shot at finding the heart of the dragon and returning it back to the people of China after Emperor Qin stole it and buried himself with it. This was your mother's life work, was it not? Yeah, it was. Well then, I can't do this without you, Allie. There's stuff in that notebook that I don't understand, and you might. All right. We're in. Great. How about a toast? To the success of our endeavors. To the past. Cheers. Cheers. What in God's name are you doing? I'm not positive, but with so many unknown soils in China, this could be unique. I just don't want to miss the opportunity to study or document it. Or right, document it or name it. You're the one to talk, Mr. Carter. Yeah, that's fair. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Why do you do this? Are you really just in this for the fame and a paycheck? <sighs> nah, it didn't used to be that way. What happened? Well, let's just say history has a funny way of biting you in the ass if you're not careful. I thought history was only supposed to repeat itself. Yeah. And I explore ancient temples. So after a few too many run-ins with history trying to repeat itself, I just started selling to the highest paying customer. Figure if I'm gonna put my life on the line, I might as well get paid for it. So, Allie was right then. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it, huh? What about you? What are you in it for? Not sure, really. I've always been labeled the smart guy or the nerd, if you will. Yeah, I can see that. But I. I guess I just wanted to do something more. An adventure seemed like the kind of thing that would give me a story to tell, other than how hard I studied. Benny Blum, globetrotting adventurer. <laughs> Actually, that's got kind of a nice ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's dumb. Nah, don't be so hard on yourself. It's not like we're saving lives here, they're relics. Well, I'm, I'm getting tired. It seems like we have a pretty big day ahead of ourselves tomorrow, so... Yeah. because we're gonna see some of the most incredible untouched artifacts of ancient Chinese culture, but we have to keep our wits about ourselves because we need to look out for trip wires and trap doors and probably some really nasty surprises. I know we're here to find the heart, but I think that there's something else going on. 
You know how Tim mentioned something about my code with my mother? My mother and I had this sort of language that only the two of us could understand. Wait, and you remember all that from when you were five? It's like the only thing that I remember from my mother, but I know she was looking for something, like some sort of special key that she was sure existed to protect the heart. It's kind of all that she talked about when I was little. A key like to a lock? She called it the mythical key. So it might not be an actual key. Truthfully, I think that she found it, and I think she was killed for it. Emperor Qin was the first and last unifier of China, a relic from his tomb could be worth millions, and I don't think that we can trust Nathan or Tim to do the right thing if we find it. I know that this is more than you signed up for. So I understand if you want to leave. What? <laughs> Girl, I'm not going anywhere. I could be giving a boring lecture right now. I don't care. What's that? Sorry, come here. Tim is lying about Isabel. He's making out with her by his tent. <gasps> Not by his tent. Are you mocking me? Oh, okay. Yes. Well, I just, I don't totally understand why we care. I guess I'm just surprised. They didn't seem like they were together earlier. I want to let it get to you. We've got plenty to worry about as it is. Night, boo. Good night. I don't know. I don't know. One of you guys got a drink? Oh, come on. I know one of you guys does. <laughs> what, no English? Oh, come on. Oh, look who finally decided to show up. Oh, my God. Isabel. I'm sorry. She's gone. They took Nathan. We have to go get him or they'll kill him, too. No. There's no reason for us all to die. Okay, you can stay here, but Nathan needs our help. Well then, I guess I'm going with you. They weren't anticipating us following. That's a good thing, right? No. Either they don't think someone's coming, or they're really prepared for someone coming.
Okay. Come on, don't do that. So, was your little excursion successful? Well, they know we're following them. Wait, what do you mean? I don't understand. They're making really good timing, but they're also being sloppy. And you're sure that these are the same men who attacked us at the campground? I'm pretty sure. And what implies this certainty? I didn't think people still spoke like that. Well, first of all, they keep moving away from us. Secondly, I'm pretty certain that this is an alcohol-soaked Beast of Nathan shirt. Certainly smells like him. So you saw them? I saw the one that wanted to be seen. That implies that they're watching it. Yeah, without a doubt. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they started the campground, if not sooner. But well, why? Well, that's a great question. Care to answer, Mr. Parker? Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. All that talk about anonymity wasn't just about evading the paparazzi, was it? You really are as clever as advertised. You gotta be kidding me. What? Did you think that no competitors would come for this prize? A little heads up would have been really nice. Yet completely irrelevant to our plan of action. He's right. What? Wait, you agree with them? They would have drawn attention. We really don't need that right now. But they already know we're here. Okay, well, who are these guys? I can't be sure. Would you care to make a guess? Could be any number of groups trying to acquire rare antiques. Sounds like exactly the kind of people our friend Nathan interacts with on a daily basis. Well, let's catch up with him and find out. I agree. Ah, oh, Leeway, you've returned. <sighs> Sifu. I see you've been successful. Yes, Sifu. You should have never killed the girl. Yes, Sifu. Mr. Carter. In the flesh. Under different circumstances, this meeting may have been more cordial. Well, you know, I'm hurt. Didn't even take the chance to get to know me. Yeah, but your reputation precedes you. <laughs> uh, which is? Nefarious treasure hunter, uh -huh. dealer of lost antiquities, and loyalty yeah. to the highest bidder. <sighs> Extremely good looking should really be at the top there somewhere. The Tao says, think lightly of yourself and more deeply of the world. Mm. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it should also say something about do not regret what you've done. <laughs> Someone smitten. What was the girl's name? You will tell me her name. Alabama Channing. They call her Allie. But now again, you hardly will joke like that. Given that she is from Alabama, she is from. I must give this more thought. Well, aren't you a cheery bunch? Faster? You can track faster than me, by all means. Never mind. Come on, guys, we really gotta press on. Actually, Benny, come on, you can do better than that. Okay. Stop! Maybe you should stay at point. If you say so.
Not exactly what we signed up for, huh? The whole cover ever is. You know what's strange, though? Creepy rich guy. Other than the high city levels of my soil samples. 2,000-year-old treasure. Uh, Nathan being kidnapped. Uh, booby traps. I give up. I don't think that any of these traps are intended to be lethal. Maybe what happened to Isabel was an accident. Look, these traps could have been much worse. Yeah, I actually agree with you. You're still alive. Uh, now get up. We gotta go meet Allie. Uh, wait, where is she? She went after our new super fan. By herself? Which is why we have to hurry. Come on. Oh, boy with on the head trauma. Oh, are you grouchy uh, after your nappy? Be oh, nice to me. Uh, oh, Come on, help be me. Careful. Be careful. Oh my god. I need my samples. Bag of dirt, man. Come on. Are you guys always like this? Pretty much. Yes. <sighs> Sorry, for what, exactly? Rescuing you. Yeah, this doesn't look exactly like a rescue. You know, for someone so cocky, you really have little faith. Mm. Please. Professor. Alabama, isn't it? <sighs> Who are you? I am just a person. Same as you. Estimated you. Wouldn't be the first time. Hey, uh, you mind? So what's the plan? We need to rendezvous with everyone else and get out of here. Uh, and uh, what about your expedition? Let's deal with these guys first. Fair enough. I only saw but ten of them. Who are they? I don't know. They seem well trained for villagers. 
What, I missed something? Tim hasn't exactly been um, forthcoming about what he's gotten us into. <sighs> That's putting it mildly. So, you know what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Should have seen that one coming. Look at this. Damn it, Kenneth, they won't understand they would have killed us by now. That would be ill advised. Enough. We mean you no harm. You killed Isabel. That was an unfortunate accident. Have your mother's eyes. But you must tell me. Why did she name you Alabama? How do you know my mother? She came here a long time ago. Very much the way that you are here now. She was asking for a safe passage. And she offered to perform a service that we have yet to complete. Finding the heart of the dragon? It is more than just a simple treasure. It is the power behind the Qin Dynasty and a tool for unification. A tool? Emperor Qin accomplished more than any emperor before or after him. The legacy of his reign surpassed that of Alexander, Genghis Khan, Rome, and even the early monarchs of Europe. It wasn't until World War I when the foundations began to crack. <laughs> he is correct. And now the world is in turmoil once again. And the Chinese people need to be unified if we are to survive this. And you think that the heart of the dragon will help? We know it can. So, then why did you need my mother to go get it? She is an expert. But you already knew that before you came here. You see, the tomb has seven keys. Only one of them leads to the heart. You must choose wisely. For if you choose the wrong one, your fate will end. The same as the people who opened it. Now we want to ensure that the next one who will attempt is truly worth it. So you've just been chasing off anyone that gets close by? Yes, something like that. You knew about this. You brought us in here knowing full well we could have been killed. Yeah, that would have been an unfortunate circumstances. Do you care about anything? Enough. Allie, you Look, can't that's seriously enough. be okay. We're here now, that's what matters. So, you're saying that my mother offered to help you? Yes. What did you offer her in return? Safe passage. That worked out great. And anything that she wants, except for the heart of the dragon. She was particularly interested in a jade key, nothing else. Come on, Allie, we don't need these guys. Well, do you know which the last viable key is? Well, no, but we could just try them all, can't we? No, not willing to risk it. Yeah, I didn't put this whole thing together only to hand it over to a group of savages, okay? We don't need them. Oh, you have kept us in the dark since the very beginning. Why should we do anything you say? Your presence here is a favor, okay? And you are rapidly becoming more of a problem than your worst. Oh, I'm so sorry that you put me into a death okay. trap. Okay, okay, okay. This is a good time for everybody to just chill, you know? Breathe in, breathe out. Don't tell me how to breathe. He is correct again. We are all tired, exhausted. Why don't we all get some rest? And we'll talk about it in the morning. Can't sleep? Yeah. Once I'm on, it's a little hard to turn it off. Yeah. Know what you mean. More for me? Can I ask you something? What's up? Do you think that we're getting into something really dangerous? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. But I get paid regardless how this turns out, so. Is it really all about money for you? 
We've had this conversation. Nathan, wait. I'm sorry. I'm not here to lecture you. I just really want to find the heart. It's my mother's dream to find and return it to the rightful owners, the people of China. Does it really mean that much to you? It's the reason I'm an archaeologist. The only reason I'm even here is because you found her notebook. Well, look, I think we find ourselves in a, the sooner we get out of here, the better situation. And if that means helping you find the heart, then I'm in 100%. Thank you. Cheers. <coughs> oh. Stop it. <sighs> See you in the morning. I see a decision has been made. Yeah, not by me. Look, we all need to work together to find the heart of the dragon. Or no one does. I just don't believe that it should be locked away forever. Okay, a relic like that should be shared with the world, not just its homeland. You will see in due time why it can only belong to us. Is that a threat? All right, calm down. Getting all hot and bothered is not going to help us find the heart. He's right. Let's do this. What? Oh, thanks, stud. Oh, yeah? I, I do that sort of thing all the time, spiders. Okay, watch it with the macho talk. You're going to turn me straight. Really? No, not really. But I'm happy to use your mind, kid. Helena? What? Can you come help a sec? Yeah. Having trouble with this symbol. Excuse me. Oh, looks... Hey, we need to talk. Uh-oh. You breaking up with me? I saw you getting chummy with Allie last night. Don't forget, you work for me. The heart and its payday are mine. And, uh, what if I change my mind? Well, then I'll just have to alert the authorities of your black market dealings. Every country in the world would fight for the opportunity to have you in their prison. So, you'll help me and only me take the heart. You are so good. I'm glad we could reach an agreement. No, this one. Yeah? I think that's where we're going. This way. Hey, Allie, Helena, wait up. John, any thoughts? I'm afraid. The only paths that I know are the ones that are blocked. Up, down, all around, which way will you go? That which is above is so often as below. This way. Look. Oh. Those are completely rusted through. Tread carefully, little one. Look down at all you see. Three times you'll jump back and then be home free. What on earth could that mean? It's an old poem. It means... Oh. Oh. We...
I'm afraid our part in this tale has come to an end for now. But I also believe that you and your team, your parts are just unfolding. Can it be choose wrong and beware the poison beneath? And there's a question mark. Well, that says poison, so I vote not that way. Great. You sure it's safe to be down here? Nope, but if you use the right entrance, we should be fine. be a thing. Okay. So, given our only way forward now is through poison, do you have any kind of strategy in case this gets worse? Yeah. Keep moving forward to the last available entrance because we can't stand around waiting to die. What do you think? Simple. Elegant. Yeah, I like it. Does this look like a tomb to you? Watch out for traps. That door was labeled for a reason. This cave might be old, but poison is poison. Looking like a first timer there, Carter. It's just been a while since I've been in a place like this. Forgot what it felt like. I know what you mean? This one's probably been on your list for a while. You have no idea. You can say that again. Every culture has elements of storytelling. I feel like if I can decipher and record those stories for the next generation, they can learn from them and be better for it. It's what made me want to study linguistics. The same about dirt. Are you serious? Every rock, every tree ring, they all have a story to tell, you know? Yeah, I mean... Oh, let me guess. You pay people to sit around your mansion and tell you stories. Hey, I may not be an academic, but I have traveled the world. Look, if you must know, I was just going to say that I find this place to be one of the most fascinating things I've ever seen in my life. But, excuse me. So besides the heart of the dragon, I've heard there's some other treasure hidden in here somewhere. Don't get any ideas. All relics belong to their rightful people. You mean the people letting us risk our lives for them? What about the history behind here? What about the people who need and deserve these relics? All right, listen, there's no difference between you and I, okay? You just think that people are deserving just because they're poor. <laughs> that doesn't make you a hero. That makes you naive. Wow, you are full of it. I shouldn't even be surprised by now. Listen, your majesty. Being smart and beautiful isn't always going to help you if you can't take care of yourself. Thank you so much for your veiled concern, but I think I'm just fine. Smith. That's a close call. Ooh, 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 ooh. Careful. Dart. Benny, 
It's gonna be okay. Stay with me. Do something. Anything. We have to help him. It's too late. There's nothing we can do. This is not what you want to hear right now, but we really must press forward. The heart obviously isn't here. We don't know how many other poisonous darts are around. We gotta go. We need to go down. How do we do that? Give me the notebook. What? No. Okay, then give me the map. No way. Look, I'm sorry about what happened to your friend, okay, but we need a clear head moving forward. Let me take point for a little bit. It's not a terrible idea. Maybe you should just give it to him. Are you serious? Come on, give it to me. Fine, Columbo. Thank you. Let's move. Safe. Just let him go. I can't believe Benny's gone. He's just a kid. Look, you couldn't have known that was going to happen to him. None of us could. She's right. Once the poison hits the bloodstream, there's nothing you can do about it. Tim set up the whole thing so that he can get the heart for himself. He thinks that because it was Emperor Chin's, it's got some sort of, I don't know, like, mystical power that's gonna make him wildly rich. I... That's crazy. I called it. Yeah. I knew we couldn't trust him. Son of... How long have you known about this? Allie, why do you think I'm here? So you've been helping him this entire time? Yeah. But that's what I'm trying to tell you is like, can't do it anymore. Yeah, sure. This changes nothing. Hold on, did you heard me say that the only reason we're doing this is to make him rich? Like, why would we continue? Yeah, I heard you say the whole I was standing right here. Gosh. <laughs> you are cute for a guy, but you are dense. All right, let me spell this out for you. Just because he commissioned us to collect the heart and give it to him doesn't mean that we're going to. to give him the heart of the dragon. Of course Tim is just in it for himself. Guys like that always are. Right. So you two have known about this the whole time? Not specifically, but I had an inkling. Okay. Can't fool the famous Alabama Channing. Got it. Why do you guys always assume that they have more information than us? Thank you, though. Hmm. But that confession was really cute, though. Yeah, yeah. Laugh it up, real cool. So 
What was your counter plan? Tim doesn't know that we need a key, so if we find it before he does, we have a leg up. Oh, that's right, this mythical key. Wait, myth what? My mom was convinced that we needed a key to get into the heart of the dragon, so it might not actually be a real key. That's helpful. It could be a combination, a code, a tool, something. Oh, we can't let it get too far ahead. Let me see that. Allie? Is that your mom? I knew so little of her. I was only five when she died. She's been leaving traces of herself behind and I've been finding my whole life. Like what? Well, she loved puzzles and games even more than I did. Every day I'd wake up and she'd have one for me, even when she was going on a dig. Even when she died, more would come, and... I think that I used it to pretend that she never left, but I always knew that she was gone. Well, it sounded like she really loved you. Yeah. I like to think that she did. I was, I was so happy to get her notebook. I was so willing to come here and put everybody in danger. Well, it looks like she gave you one last puzzle to solve. I just found a locket. Are you okay? Yeah. Cool. Because I think you're really going to dig this. Come on. Okay. So, this looks like Cantonese, but it's way more primitive. I think it's pre-Cantonese, the way that Latin is pre-Italian. Okay, this Spanish isn't helping. Come on. All this to say, I think I've got it figured out. Stone, storm, fire. Sun, warrior, I think moon, because sun, and get this, heart. The heart of the dragon. <laughs> Last thing my mom says, not his ego, nor pills, nor vice, little one, little one, not once, nor twice, nor thrice, little one, little one. But four times as nice, said the hawk to the mice, and four times as fun, the bird loudly enticed, saying better advice was his most concise. Then she wrote my last gift to you was also my goodbye. The heart of the dragon. It must be the heart. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are, are you sure about that? What does she mean, my last gift to you is also my last goodbye? I don't know. That's the last of the riddle. Also, why did he have you recite the Tao of the Warrior if we're looking for a heart? Wait. Yeah. Tao of the Warrior. Is that Warrior? <gasps> That's the same symbol. 
My last gift to you is my last goodbye. That... I think she wrote this before she died. Tim has probably got the heart of the dragon at this point. I'm not leaving here to die like my mother did, okay? Oh, who said anything about dying? I'm just, I'm just gonna, like, I don't know, hang out. Like, read a book or something. Oh, my God, go. Please don't do anything stupid. You too, lover boy. Doesn't that say warrior? Yeah, that's what I don't get. Every myth that I've ever heard has been the heart of the dragon. This might, this might not be it. Well, maybe they got it wrong. No, I think the heart of the dragon's still here somewhere. Shall we go find that? Tim? Tim. Did you find it? Did you find the heart? What? That's it. That's the heart. We can use it to open the tomb. You just have to repeat the phrase. Tim, I think that we all should go. It's really dangerous. Helena just got hit by a bunch of rocks. Without going inside, are you crazy? Hey, Tim. Why don't we just take a minute to calm down? Give it to me. No. I said give it to me. What do you think that you're doing? Did you forget who you work for? You work for me. Let him go. This is not yours for the taking. Oh, so that's where you're wrong. It is mine for the taking. I've worked too hard and for too long to just let you walk out of here with it. Tim, this belongs to the people of China and you know it. What are they going to do with it, huh? Nothing. They're going to put it on display when it could be making them rich. You're acting insane. You're using me. You're using them. Of course I used you. What did you think this was going to be an all-expense-paid expedition so that you could just relive the dreams of your dead mother? I don't have all day, Al.
that what I think it is? Yeah. It's, uh, it's the heart of the dragon. That is a cool sword. I spent my entire life researching this. It was the Emperor's sword all along. Well, that depends. What other hidden relics you have around here? <laughs> so that's when we discovered the real key wasn't the heart of the dragon. It was the heart of the warrior. As you can see, class dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> 